This is lit code question number 375. Uh, guess number higher or lower the second the second. Uh, this is a medium question. Even thumb down is bigger than some more, but I think the question is good. But I think the description of question this is uh, maybe hard to understand. So I think that is legion. Okay. Let's get into it. We are playing the guess game. The game is as follow. I pick a number from 1 to N. You have to guess which number I picked. Every time you guess wrong, I will tell you whether the number I picked is high or low. However, when you guess is a particular number X and then you guess wrong, you pay. Wow, X bucks. Uh, you win the game when you guess the number I pick. Okay. Let's check it. The example one. N is 10. 10 minutes 1 to the 10. And then I picked 8. First down, you guess 5. So I need to say this is higher. And then you pay 5 bucks. And then second now, round, you guess 7. And then I tell you this is still higher. And then you pay 7. Next, you guess 9, and then I will tell you it's lower. So, answer is between 7 with 9. So, uh, you tell me 8 is number I picked, so game over. So, at that time, you need to pay 5 bucks, 7 bucks, 9 bucks to 21. Given a particular n is the bigger or equal than high, find out how much money you needed to have a guarantee of win. Okay, the reason this is a little bit uh, the tricky is that you can get some hint higher or lower. So at this time, we needed to uh, consider the the the, the I status, and then you needed to calculate the uh, I state the minimum and then maximum, and then you needed to get to max. And finally, you get a uh, minimum number of the maximum value set. Okay, I, I will write for you. Okay. okay, let's check. Maybe cost 1 to the n, maybe we can write it. Uh, minimum i, i status plus cost minimum uh, min to okay, low low let's say low low to i minus one because i is already out of here i plus i minus one is the to the i and also that is the we need to choose one maximum value i minus one or cost I plus 1 to high and then for I for I in range uh -huh, low to high that is equation that we looking for cost so in this case we need to use the equation to check it and then every equation we get the maximum value and then plus one itself, and then uh, we get all of the set, the, the, the minimum value of all of the set. That is cos i to n. So okay, let's uh, implement a code based on this one. So I would like to use the uh, equation name is cos is low to high, and then. I will call return cost is from 1 to the n, right? This makes sense. So first, uh, the equation has the two part, uh, base case and the equation relationship. First, I will implement uh, base case, that is exit condition now. And um, if high is smaller or equal than low, I will return 0. Because that is out of boundary, right? And then next, output output must be minimum. 
So this is cos i to m. So I'll put that i to m means the low to high. So okay, low to high. So output must be float uh, infinite number because we need to calculate the minimum. So I will iterate for i in range from low to high. And output I will check the minimum. Output with 1 plus maximum uh -huh, cost. Be I right? Okay. Let's submit. Oh, it got here. Okay, let's make it better. Okay, uh, if we make it a better approach. What kind of uh, strategy we needed to use? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we need to be able to use memorization, right? Because this is recursion, maybe some of value, uh, the uh, key is the low to high, it will be duplicated. So uh, if we get rid of the duplicate calculation, maybe we can make the better time complexity, right? better speed so I will use memo I will make it with the set uh, the, the hash hash map and then first I will if low and high is in memo I just return saved one otherwise it's time we need to calculate right so after finish calculation I store it to memory. Memo to output. So if, even we, if we just one calculation is stored into the memory, next time we no need to calculate again. Just to get it from the hash map. Does it make make sense? Okay. Okay, looks good. Okay, we passed the edge uh, case, but uh, you know the score is not good. Okay, let's make better. Okay, next, what is the more best approach than this one? Yeah, that's right. We can use a DB table because this one is recursion, so this is still slow. So if we use the DB table and then calculate the one by one, we can make better solution. And then range must be, we do not calculate all of them, just low to high because the uh, one to n is the we're looking for, right? So I will use like that. So first I will make the DB table. So DP, okay, let's name is cost. This is DP table. Uh, so first I would like to make the DP table cost and then okay, if n is 3, I need cost DP table. I need 4. So 0. 0, 0, 0, and then I need this 4. Then I will calculate from the bottom, bottom up. So calculate something, something, something. Maybe we can reuse this one, and then maybe uh, we need to duplicate calculation, right? So, okay, awesome. So let's make the DP table first. Zero. 
n n plus what right range n plus one now we made the dip table so calculate okay now we need the iteration to three times low and high and then find the minimum right so first the lowest must be I will use bottom up so range is to start with n and then n to the zero n one by one and because the, the reason why this one don't need to calculate minus one because we just cost the start from one no need the, this zero table right so I calculate this one is zero and okay high high is in range start is the no need to uh, the lower so I will do low plus one to n plus one and plus n is the biggest table right so then okay let's fit it cost low and high must be minimum right we will use this one List object is not, not colorable. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is not a function, right? Okay, looks good. Awesome. Oh, not bad. 91%. Okay, let's check with the time complexity. The first is the time complexity is the M factorial because we use the equation, the one by one. And then space complexity is N because we use not only uh, recursion stack, but also we need we use the memorization that is 2n. So I can say uh, time complexity is big O n factorial, and space complexity is big O n linear space. Okay, second solution is the dp, and then time complexity is this one n, this one n, this one n. So time complexity is n, n cube, and then space complexity is n square because the n is three. This one is we need the two D table, right? Thank you.